Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I'd like to discuss the topic of heroes. There's a quote that I came across uh, more recently. I've heard it many times over my journey. And the quote says, never meet your heroes because you will be disappointed. I've been reflecting on this topic for a few days and how it's played out in my life. And I've come to realize that sometimes that quote does apply. But for the most part, over my journey, I don't think disappointment was the feeling. I believe that it's wise to meet our heroes so we can be exposed to their humanness and realize that they're no different than us. See, I've had people that I have put on pedestals and looked at as uh, more superior than me at times. And I realized, well, let's see. <laughs> I'll say in my mid thirties, I realized how help, how helpful and detrimental that has been for myself. See, I had conditioned myself to believe that I must continue to look outward for someone who can help me find my way. And when I began to change that and focus more within on my idea of self that I desire, that I create, I began to see that I was taking away a power that I was given to these heroes and giving it to myself, the true source. Now I share this because at that particular time of my life, there was a, uh, one individual who was helping, helping me with the skill set, And I'm very appreciative of what I've learned from this person. But when I met this quote unquote hero, I uh, seen how human he was. I see, I focus on the skill set, I focus on the teaching, yes. But there was that other aspect of spending time with this person, being around this person for a few hours. I began to see who the person was and not the idea that I have been interacting with in my mind. This is not to say he was not knowledgeable in his skill. No, he's very knowledgeable. Yet that moment taught me so much. And then over the coming years, I began to remove that pedestal. I believe I had done it before then unconsciously. But when I consciously removed that, that pedestal and simply looked at this person for who he was, I found peace. Then I reflected on my life. And I seen there's a constant, constant cycle that I've played out. I find peace when I remove the pedestals from people when I remove the idea that I am somehow in any shape, form, or fashion, their subordinate. Very helpful, very insightful. See, it's not to say that we cannot learn from each other in life. I believe that's what our journey is all about. It's learning and the learning process is what we would call experience. However, there is no one better than self. There is no one lesser than self. And that is a premise that I've operated with from, from within my heart for as long as I could remember. But just as any other traveler, I can get lost in the moment. I can get lost in the experiences and that's okay. That's life. I share this with you because at times where I believed I was being insubordinate, 
in some capacities I was. I found my true power. See, a hero is nothing more than an authority. Nothing more, nothing less. But when you operate from your own inner authority, you are the hero. <laughs> to me, that's bliss. To me, that's freedom. To me, that is our divine birthright. What more could you ask for than to be the hero of your own story? It's okay to have uh, a mentor here or some assistance or guidance there. That's okay. But never give it the power to overshadow your presence in your own story. This can show up many different ways in your life. I share this information simply from my own experience, my own reflections, my own understanding. And if it helps you in any shape, form, or fashion, cool. If not, please dismiss it and move along. Cool. But remember that you are living your story, your experience. You are the hero. And if you do not feel as if you are the hero, if you do not believe that you are the hero of your own journey, maybe it's time to assess where the pedestals lie. I think I'll leave it there for now. Until next time, be blessed. Most importantly, don't forget to smile.